Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. God bless. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to expose the lies of Allah and the fake prophet of Islam lying about the Jews and the Christians in the Quran. If we go to chapter 9, ayah 30, it says, وَقَالَتَ الْيَهُودُ عُزَيْرٌ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَ الْمَسِيحُ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ Now here comes the problem. If you go to the translation, this is a fake translation and I'm going to show you why. It says, the Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah. Now the Arabic doesn't say Ezra. The Arabic says Uzair. Uzair. It's a different person. So they needed to sugarcoat the translation, lie and use deception and call it Ezra. Uzair is not Ezra. Guys, there's no Jew who has heard of Uzair. Uzair, you see that? It's in front of you. So why and how did Uzair became Ezra? Since when is Uzair Ezra? That's problem number one. So there is no Jew for the last 4,000 years. There is no Jew, like Muhammad Hijab would have said. For the last 4,000 years, there is no Jew who would have said Uzair is the son of Allah. And there are no Jews who ever claim that Ezra is the son of Allah. That's a lie. That is deception by the writer of the Quran. In this case, Muhammad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so the thing is, the Jews never made that claim. And when Muslims going to say, no, no, wait. Only the Jews who lived in Yathrib, which became Medina, when Muhammad expelled the Jews. Right? He expelled the Jews from Medina. And he called it Medina. Right, because at that time it was called Yathrib. Muslims will try to add to their own Quran, give their own interpretation, and say, No, no, it's only a party of those Jews, only the Jews who lived in Medina. But wait a second, the Arabic says, yahudu. The Jews say, All the Jews say, The Jews, it's addressing the Jews and it's addressing the Christians, right. It doesn't say a party of the Jews, right? Like this ayah, it says here, if you can read, it says a party, Fariqun minhum. So if Allah would have been speaking in detail, he should have said, and you know, to back the poor Muslims who are adding to their own Quran, Allah should have said a party of the, of the Jews from Medina, right? It said the Jews. So here Allah is lying about the Jews, saying that they called Uzair the son of Allah, which is a lie, which is a fabrication. There is no Jew in the whole history of Jews who claimed that Ezra is the son of Allah, or in this case, Uzair. No Jew ever made that claim. Right? And remember when Jesus said he's the son of God, the high priest torn up his clothes and he said, blasphemy, right? You are making yourself equal with God, right? In the eyes of the Jews, when you say you are the son of God, the son of God, you are blaspheming, right? It's in front of you, right? And the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. And then I have a different question, and this is really embarrassing. When Allah says, may Allah destroy them, how are they deluded? Now I have a question. Muslims always make the claim that the Quran is the speech of Allah. Now wait a second. How can Allah, if this is the speech of Allah, how can Allah say, may Allah destroy them? How is this possible? Allah is asking who? Allah is saying to Allah, May Allah destroy them? Or is he talking to Muhammad? Is he talking to a different Allah? Who is Allah talking to here? May Allah destroy them. Who is Allah talking to, man? I want an answer, Muslims. Why is Allah lying about the Jews? 
And to who is Allah talking when he says, may Allah destroy them? And third, third and uh, but not least, the Christians are not called the Nasara. That's not how we call. In the Arabic, we are called al Messihiyin or al Messihiyun, right? We never called ourselves Nasara. Nasara were a small sect, a sect, a heretical sect in the time of Muhammad. But those are not the Christians. They were not Christians. They were a heretical sect, right? And on top of that, if you want to say, yeah, but it's addressing, you know, because the the followers of Christ they lived in this, uh, in Nazareth. That also doesn't make sense because we are not living in Nazareth right now, and we're still Christians, right? So. Anyway, this whole ayah is nothing but a lie. It's a fabrication, a deception about the Jews and the Christians, especially about the Jews here in this case. And to, all, to who? I'm still, you know, if you want to convince me to take my shahada, I want to know to who Allah is speaking here. Because remember, the Quran is the speech of Allah. So, to who is Allah speaking in? And who is who is the one speaking here? Is it Allah? Is it Muhammad? Is it uh, the angel Gabriel? Who is saying may Allah destroy them? Muslims, you truly need to address these questions. Wake up Muslims. Leave the satanic cult. And join us in Christ. Jesus is Lord. Glory to his to his name. Jesus is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you for watching. Share this video around, download it and share it around on your social media and God bless.